Guys, we're here for a review. Um, we're gonna see how well this uh, Valiant 500 narrow cast, this is a Dorado edition, two speed. Uh, it's got a six to one gear ratio as a top, three to one low gear. This does not have a clicker. I'm not happy about that. I feel that whenever I'm messing with the line or pulling line to put the jig on, you kind of have to have this lever on because if you don't, you end up with the first nest and you haven't even cast it yet. So I, I also, I'm not digging the fact that they decided not to put at least the holes for a rod clamp. I know that this is kind of narrow and it's not gonna fit on this rod, but I'm sure there's rods where it would fit. And I just feel like they could have done that, but it's a beautiful reel for sure. I don't intend for this reel to be a casting reel because it doesn't have a cast control. It's mainly used to be quite honest for slow pitch jigging, but a 500 narrow should be able to cast well. So we're here to see how well it cast. I've got 30 pound mono on it. I've got a pen carnage. It's a seven, 10 foot rod, 20 to 50 pound, uh, uh, 20 to 50 pound mono rating on it. And I'm gonna be casting a Taddy 45. I've already wet the line, so let's see what happens. When you're gonna cast something like this without a cast control, you better have that thumb on that spool. You will end up with the bird's nest. This thing really spins fast. So let's check it out. As you can see, a uh, slight bird's nest. I tried controlling it. it the jig flew way the hell out there. So with enough practice, you'll be able to cast it well, but like I said, there's other reels out there that have cast control that might be better for the people that are learning how to cast. Um, this casts well, like I said, but with more practice, I'm sure you could get it. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching.